So first thing you do is we want to make sure the printer is not jetting. Okay, we do not want the hydraulics running. So you should see what we see on our display here. The system is not actively jetting. Okay, but uh, power is on. We do need power on to utilize this process. So once we verified that we are not jetting, we're gonna go to the settings page. We would go to maintenance and we will locate cleaning for long-term shutdown. Okay, when we click on that, the printer is basically gonna confirm that's what we wanna do and it's gonna tell us uh, what to do for each step of this process. So we're gonna say yes. And now the printer is asking us to connect a drainage bottle. So the first thing the printer wants to do is actually drain out uh, the remaining ink and fluids in the mix tank. Okay, uh, so in the back of the machine, um, what we're gonna do is locate the ink drain pipe. Um, before we do anything with the drain pipe, uh, you do want to make sure you've got a waste collector. Um, so what I have is just an empty quart bottle uh, of cleaning solvent that you typically have with the system. So make sure you've got uh, an empty cartridge or bottle with about a quart volume available to you. Again, we're pumping fluid out of the machine. Uh, we're emptying the mix tank, um, which is going to have a few hundred milliliters of fluid in it. So you want to make sure you're ready with a container to catch that fluid, okay? Um, so we're going to locate the drain pipe. Uh, every jet stream is going to have that drain pipe labeled. So you'll see this yellow tag that says ink drain pipe on it. And all you have to do is uh, locate the inline filter that that pipe plugs into. Um, and the side of that filter that the tag is on, we're just going to disconnect this compression fitting. Uh, once we disconnect this, we're going to put it into our waste collector then we can start draining the machine. So we'll open our collector here. Disconnect our pipe. And put it in the container. And now we're ready to drain the system. So now we're gonna head back to the front of the printer or to the display so we can actually start this process. Uh, now that our drain line is uh, in a waste collector, we're gonna come back to the display and we're gonna click start. Okay, so we've got our drainage bottle uh, connected. So we're okay to start pumping fluids out of the mix tank. So once we click that, the printer is immediately gonna start dumping the mix tank. So if we go to the back of our machine, you'll see that our waste bottle is starting to fill up with ink. When our status bar reaches 100%, um, the system will automatically stop draining. Uh, you don't necessarily need to wait until we reach the 100% mark. Um, you can visually watch the draining process and if there's no more ink coming out uh, you can actually stop draining. Um, so if you notice that we're just pushing air or it's just bubbling, um, you can stop. Uh, there's no harm in waiting to 100%, but if you want to speed the process up, as soon as you notice no more ink coming out, we can just go ahead and click stop on the display. Okay, so we're going to click stop because our mix tank happens to already be empty. And that has stopped the draining uh, process. So now all we have to do is click continue. And it's asking us to uh, reconnect our drainage tube. Um, so it says block ink drainage tube. Um, that's actually calling uh, for us to connect it. And then once we do that, we're actually gonna um, move our cartridges around up in the front uh, cabinet of the machine. So what we're gonna do after we connect the drain line is we're gonna take our ink cartridge out and we're going to put a solvent cartridge in its place. Again, now that we've stopped draining, the first thing the system wants us to do is reconnect the ink drain pipe. You'll see I have a paper towel here just in case there's a little bit of excess fluid. But all we need to do is uh, thread this compression fitting back on with the tube in, and it can just be hand tight, and you can even give that pipe a little uh, tug, make sure it doesn't slide right out. 
That's all we need to do to reconnect that line. Okay, so once we've got the drain uh, line reconnected, again, the printer's asking us to reposition our cartridges here. So we're gonna open the front of the machine, front of the printer. We're gonna remove our ink cartridge. Ink is always on the left-hand side. Okay, we're gonna take that out and we're gonna put a makeup cartridge in its place. Now, one thing to point out here is make sure you have a full makeup cartridge, uh, at least 75% full or more. So if you don't have a lot of fluid in here, make sure you grab a new cartridge and then put it into the machine. So this is gonna slide into the ink slot and what's gonna happen is the printer is gonna use this makeup fluid to clean out the ink circuit deliver makeup, uh, straight makeup to the mix tank, and then it's gonna start a cleaning process. So once we've got this installed on the display, we can click OK to continue our process. When we click OK, the system is ready to add our makeup or our solvent to the mix tank. So we click Start, and we just let it do its thing. So this is gonna take uh, three to four minutes Again, it's just adding makeup to the mix tank and it'll tell us when it's done and then we will continue on with this process. If you want, uh, while the system is adding makeup to the mix tank, um, you can come to the back of the machine again and just for visual reference, uh, if you want to make sure it's actually cleaning or doing its job already, um, we can look at our, our pair of diaphragm pumps here. The pump on the left is our ink transfer pump. So this is normally what fills the mix tank with ink. And you can see now that we've put a makeup cartridge uh, in the ink cartridge slot, our ink pipes here for the, this diaphragm pump are already clean. Um, so it's a good way to verify that we're actually getting makeup from the cartridge through this pump and into the mix tank. Okay, um, when the printer's done adding makeup, you're gonna see uh, replenishment accomplished here on the display uh, and 100% on our status bar. The only thing you need to do is click continue and that will prompt the machine to start cleaning itself out internally. So at this point, uh, there's really not much you need to do uh, manually. The printer again is just gonna clean itself out. You're gonna see a lot of different uh, process is taking place here. This takes several minutes for the printer to clean itself. So what you can do uh, while it's running this process, first I would recommend uh, dumping our waste collector while we have time. Um, the ink that we pulled from the reservoir, uh, again if we're doing a PM for example, um, you don't want to reuse this fluid. It's typically uh, fairly old. Um, and you can't really refill the cartridges with this uh, due to the locking clips on the cartridge. So uh, make sure you've got a good spot for waste fluids. You'll want to dump this out, that way it's empty and ready for the ne uh, next drain process. Okay, the other thing you can do while the printer is cleaning itself is we can slide the print head out of the sleeve. And what you'll see is the printer is going to cycle through, uh, you know, jetting on and off. So it's actually jetting with that makeup that we've introduced into the mix tank. Um, so you can pull the head out, make sure it's actually jetting, and uh, you can even spray some cleaning solvent, so cleaning solvent that matches the makeup fluid, uh, on the head. So we can clean the head, and you can even spray some into the gutter return. And this just helps clean the system out. Not a bad time to clean the head. Okay, when the printer is done with its cleaning cycle, uh, we're gonna see this on the display. So uh, what the machine wants us to do is reconnect that drainage bottle. So we're gonna disconnect that drain line again put it into our bottle, and we're gonna empty the mix tank for our second drain. Okay, so again, uh, the printer is asking us to drain out the mix tank, so we've got this makeup fluid that's been cleaning the system. We're gonna pump that out, and we're gonna do one more cleaning cycle after that. 
So we're gonna go to the back of the machine again. We're gonna do that exact same drain process that we did at the very beginning of this procedure. So we're just gonna locate that drain line again. We're gonna disconnect that, put it into our waste collector and we're ready to start draining. And again, uh, I do recommend, uh, like I mentioned earlier, that in between cycles, since it is a bit of fluid that we're pumping out, you don't want this to overflow. Um, so our, our container is empty and we're gonna start draining. Okay, so uh, we're mostly just pushing air and you can see now that we've done one cleaning cycle, we can actually see the fluid now on this line. So the system is starting to get cleaned out. So when you just see barely any ink traveling through here whatsoever and mostly air, we can click stop on our display. Okay, and when we click stop, um, we can go ahead and click continue. And it's gonna ask us uh, to do the exact same thing we did at the end of our last drain cycle. That's reconnect the drain line and make sure we've got that makeup or solvent cartridge in the ink position and also making sure it's got plenty of fluid in it. Okay, so again, we're just reconnecting the drain line. Again, hand tight, make sure that that pipe doesn't move. And then you can at this time too, if you want to drain your waste collector or when it's doing its cleaning cycle, uh, but make sure you do empty this uh, each time you drain the printer. Okay, so we've got our drain line reconnected. And again, it's asking us to make sure we've got a solvent cartridge in the ink cartridge position. Verify that there is fluid in your cartridge still. We have at least half a cartridge, which is plenty for our next cleaning cycle. Um, if this is by chance getting really low or empty, make sure you swap that out before you start the next cycle. Um, once you've got this placed, we're just gonna click OK on the display. And we're gonna add more makeup or solvent into the mix tank. So all we have to do is click Start. And we're just gonna wait for this status bar to reach 100%, same as last time. And then we're gonna continue on with the next cleaning cycle. Okay, so our, replen our replenishment is accomplished. So we've refilled the mix tank with more makeup. All we have to do is click continue and the system is gonna run that exact same cleaning cycle. This is the second of two cycles. So at the end of this process, it'll have us drain the printer one more time and that's it as far as the cleaning cycles are concerned. All right, our second cleaning process is complete. So we're gonna see a familiar pop up here. Please connect drainage bottle. Um, so we're draining the printer out one last time and then our, our cleaning process is complete. So we're gonna hook up our drainage bottle again, uh, put the drain pipe in there, pump the system out, um, and we'll have some more instructions here once that process is complete. Okay, so again, we're, we're putting our drain pipe in one last time. And we're gonna move back to our display and start the draining process. Same as uh, the previous two draining uh, sequences, we can just let it go to 100% or we can visually monitor our drain line. When we're just pushing air, we can click stop. So we're gonna start up the drain and go from there. Okay, so our final drain is complete. We're gonna go ahead and click uh, continue here. And you'll see on our display, cleaning process completed. So we are all done flushing the jet stream out. Now that we've got the plugs out of the system, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put our ink and makeup cartridges into the machine. Uh, in order to do that, we're just gonna go back in uh, to the front of the cabinet, through the front door. And you're gonna see we have an ink and makeup slot clearly labeled. Go ahead and slide the cartridges in. You're gonna feel a little bit of resistance when you start to put the cartridge in. Just go ahead, push it forward until it stops. That goes for both cartridges. Okay. And then we just make sure that that front door can close properly. 
Okay, at this point, it's okay to plug your system in and turn it on. So there's a power switch on the right-hand side of the machine, right above the power cord. Just go ahead and flip that up, and our printer will begin to boot up. Uh, this just takes a, a few moments for it to launch the software. Okay, um, so this is what you're gonna see uh, once the software has booted up. Um, on the, this is kind of your home screen. Uh, you'll notice that the system is recognizing that the mix tank is empty, uh, and it's asking us to confirm if we want to add ink. Um, so we've got our, our ink and makeup cartridges in, so we're good to go. We're just gonna click yes, and it's gonna take about four to five minutes to fill the mix tank. Again, that's uh, just during initial startup here. Um, you don't have to do that every time you start the machine from here on out. Um, so we'll just get a status bar telling us what's going on once we click yes. Okay, so when the mix tank is filled successfully, you're gonna see this on your display. At this point, it's uh, okay to just click okay. And then the next step is the system is actually gonna prime the hydraulic uh, core with fluids. So we click okay. It's gonna say feeding ink into the system. Again, that's just uh, uh, priming the core. So we just wait for this process to complete itself. What you're going to see on your display now is a notification that um, the system is done uh, feeding ink into the hydraulic uh, part of the controller. Um, at this point we can just click OK and we're going to move on to actually starting jetting. So we're actually going to start delivering fluids out uh, to the printhead. So click OK. Um, so to start jetting uh, what we want to do is, you'll see there's a button, we're going to click start jetting, and then we're going to have three options. We have start jetting with cleaning, without cleaning, or no, which just backs us out. In this scenario, uh, the very first time we start uh, jetting, I always recommend start with cleaning. What that means is uh, before an ink jet is initiated at the printhead, the printer is actually going to send some makeup uh, to the printhead first and essentially clean out our critical hardware components in the head. So we're gonna start jetting with cleaning. We're gonna get another status bar, um, letting us know what's happening during that process. Um, during this very first uh, jetting on process, it's not uncommon to have uh, one of two faults. We might see a pressure fault or a gutter fault. That's perfectly normal the first time you start the printer up. Uh, that's typically caused just from, by uh, residual air or residual makeup in the system uh, from us flushing the printer out after our production processes. So if you see an alarm um, and the system turns itself off, don't worry, that's perfectly normal. So we're gonna start jetting with cleaning now. Okay, if there is a fault, uh, either a pressure fault or a gutter fault when the system is uh, trying to start up, the printer's gonna recognize that and it's gonna stop jetting on its own. Um, so you'll see it says jetting off right now. And what we would normally have if there is a fault is there would also be a flashing red uh, warning light right here. Uh, or if you have an alarm stack, there would be a red light on that too. So again, the system's gonna um, detect that fault on its own and turn itself off. Um, in that scenario, all we have to do is restart jetting again. That's all you have to do. So all we need to do is wait for the system um, to finish that jetting off procedure. Uh, once it's complete, you're gonna just see a, a normal display here, no status bar or anything like that. And we're just gonna have a power light here. And again, potentially a warning light here. Uh, in, again, in that scenario, all we have to do is click start jetting and we're going to start uh, without cleaning this time since we've already run that clean process, okay? Okay, uh, when the system uh, starts jetting successfully, what you're going to see is, again, a no uh, status bar on the display. Um, we're actually going to see uh, jetting graphic here now. So this represents that there's actually uh, ink jetting through the printhead. And we'll also have a green light here. Um, this also represents that the system is jetting. And then a green ready light means that um, the system is uh, basically ready to print. 
Right. Now that the printer is jetting, uh, there's one more uh, step. Uh, there's one variable that we need uh, to have stable before we can put the printer into production, and that's the uh, viscosity of the fluids inside the mix tank. So um, what we're gonna do is go into the settings page, and then we're gonna go to ink system. And uh, what we're looking for is our ink viscosity reading, which is right here. This is our target viscosity. This is our, our current viscosity. The system is automatically checking the viscosity to the fluids every three minutes. Um, all we need to do at, at this point in time is allow the printer to run and manage the fluids until we get within 10% of our target viscosity. So basically once this number reaches 50, uh, we are okay to install the machine and start running production with it. It's not uncommon when the system is uh, managing the viscosity on its own when you first start the printer. Um, this can take uh, an hour or two for it to stabilize. Um, so we always recommend um, commission the printer uh, either at your shop or if you're doing it on site, um, you know, maybe away from the production line. So this can, again, stabilize before we actually install it. Okay, so now our target or our uh, viscosity reading is within 10% of our target. Um, so we're good there. And um, we also have a, a ready light. Uh, that's what this R is on the front of the printer. Um, when those two uh, items are stable, we are okay to uh, install the printer and start printing. All right, thanks for watching uh, this video on commissioning a jet stream printer. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this on our CIJ or other products, uh, please subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. Thanks.